Have you noticed that on a lot of the luxury handbag channels, you see a lot of neutrals like this color, taupes, shades of brown, you see black and white, you see navy as a neutral. In this video, I'm going to try on several neutral tops that I think would look fabulous with some of our handbags, but these tops each have something a little special about them. They're not just your typical brown t-shirt or a white Oxford shirt, so stay tuned to see what I picked out and to see how it fits. <laughs> YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Now I am purposefully not wearing any jewelry that's so the jewelry will not catch on the clothes as I take them on and off. And each of these tops will be in the size extra large unless I tell you otherwise. And none of these are fast fashion. These are all from places like Macy's or Saks or Nordstrom where they're higher quality but I get them from the clearance section or on sale so I never pay full price. Everything I can link below so if it's in stock will be linked below. I will also list the retail price and the price that I paid when I got it on sale or clearance. The first top I want to try on is one of the ones I'm most excited about. I think I got it at Nordstrom Rack. It is this one. And what's really special about this, I hope it's showing up on camera, is it has little metallic bits in it. So it's neutral colors. It's like an ochre with some grays, almost a blue hue there on a white and off-white background. This has a v-neck with some buttons that go all the way down. It looks like it has a three-quarter sleeve with a little bit of a cuff and a button there that you could unbutton if that cuff is too tight or if you want a little more casual look. On the back, you have pleats up top and then they spread out to give you more room. So that should make the shirt more comfortable, which is always really nice. And if you don't like this pattern, but you like the style of the shirt, they had this shirt in a ton of other patterns. This one just happened to be my favorite. All right, let's see how it fits. And here we are. I like this a lot. This is definitely going to be a keeper. Let's go through some of the details. It does end up being a v-neck. It has buttons all the way down, but I didn't have to undo the buttons at all. It just slips right over your head. This naturally stays open a bit, and there are no buttons up top to keep it closed. So if you wanted something that's more closed, this may not be the top for you. There is some pleating here to give you a little extra space in this area, which is also nice. The cuffs, if I hold my arms down, you can see they don't quite go to my wrist. So I do have a little room there where I can still see bracelets when I have those on. Also also a plus. And when I go to do this, it's not tied in the back, partly because of the pin tucking the extra room that you have, and partly because it pulls your sleeve up a little. Those cuffs, for me, are wide enough that I have room to move without them getting stuck on my arm and having to pull them down. And I really hope that metallic is showing up because it's so pretty. The fabric is kind of loose and flowy. You can see it's a comfortable fit back here. It's not too tight anywhere. It's not too loose. Now when I do this, it does pull the seam apart a little bit, but you've got good coverage there where it's not opening up, at least on me. Now it maybe has too much fabric around here, too loose in this area, but that's one of the problems that I run into with tops when I want them to go a little longer and cover this section because my hip area is a size bigger than my top. So I have to have things that fit my hip more than my top and I end up with tops being a little loose and that's just something that I've learned to live with I guess. Also notice on the hem that it has this little slit here with little curved edges which I also think is a nice detail. Now these next two tops I liked them online but now that I see them in person I'm not as in love with them but I'll still try them on and see how they fit. By the way this top is from NYDJ. The first of the ones I'm not sure about is this one. So I think that that green in the background is kind of a neutral, but what's special about this is the pattern. Just like on this shirt, this doesn't have metallics in it, but it's a nice pattern and that yellow and kind of a mauvey pink and a navy. There's a little ruffle around the edge. You have cuffs at the end of your sleeve and there's some pin tucking going on there. I think I can slip this one over my head without having to undo the buttons on the front. I'm gonna try it out. This shirt does not fit well at all. It is too small for me around this shoulder area and on the arms. This is as far as I can get my arms together. It's pulling in the back. I could barely get it on actually. I'm gonna have trouble getting it off. This is how it looks. It's too tight across the chest too. So yeah, this one's going back 
and I'm okay with that. And did I say who made this? Oh, this is by Nanette Lepore. I ordered several things from them, and the ones that I've tried on for other videos so far have done pretty well for me, so I'm a little surprised that this one is so small. This next shirt is from Pale Sky. It's a very thin material. I feel like this probably isn't gonna work well for me either. It's a neutral brown, but then it has this floral pattern on it. These are all tulips. There's a little ruffle around the edge here. It's a v-neck with these little strings to tie it closed if you'd like. And it's a short sleeve, a little bit puffy with some elastic and ruffles on the end. I have a feeling this is not going to work, but let's see. Yeah, I do not like this. The material's so thin, it feels very cheap. The fit is okay. It's a little tight here at the waist. The hem has no give, not at the waist, at the hips here. It fits okay everywhere else. I just don't like it. The elastic on the arms feels a little bit tight. I feel like that would get on my nerves pretty quickly. And it's just, I don't know, it's, it's supposed to have this little ruffle thing around the elastic and it just looks cheap. I don't like it. There's also a seam right down the middle. And because this is a floral pattern and the florals are kind of sparse, you can see right here, there's some tulips, little bits of tulips that are showing on one side of the seam and not at all on the other. And that just doesn't look good either. Autumn from the future here with more items from another shipment. First up is this navy top. This is from Banana Republic Factory. The next few shirts are from that place. This has a t-shirt body and then it has cotton sleeves with this embroidery that's really pretty. Now I also ordered this in yellow and I tried that on in another video, my bright spring colors, and decided to return that one but I feel like the blue one might work better so we're gonna find out. Yes, the blue is better. I like this one a lot more than the yellow. It looks good. Yay, I'm happy about that. So the yellow showed the flaws in it a little too much. The dark color hides that. The flaws were it had a little bit of poofiness here just because of the way the sleeves are sewn to the body. And then because this is a different fabric that's a little more stiff, the sleeves tend to lay a little strangely, but in the blue, you just don't really see that. I think it looks good. I think this one's a keeper. Next up also from Banana Republic is this top, which is gray. I don't have a good feeling about this one. It is a weird material. I think they called it crepe. It's pretty heavy. I got a lot of these to be summer shirts. This is gonna be too heavy for the summer. Plus, I don't really like it when the sleeves are sewn with the seam that goes like from your armpit up to your neck. I think that just looks a little weird when you have it on, like a baseball shirt. And it also looks like it might be a bit too short on me for my preferences, but let's give it a try. I also ordered it in this beige tan color, which I won't open unless I like this one on me. So if it's good, then I have it in two colors. Okay, look at this shirt proving me wrong. It actually looks pretty good. I like it. It is kind of heavy and the sleeves are a bit long, but I can pull those up. They're very generous elastic sleeves, so they'll go up to the thickest part of my lower arm there and it still doesn't feel like it's pinching. It feels like it would be comfortable all day. It looks good. The length of it is nice. Uh, the seams are a little higher than I thought they would be. The boat neck, sort of almost a boat neck, it has a thick piece of material around here that makes it look a little nicer. Look at me being wrong for once. So now I'll try the tan beige one. Hmm, this is interesting. I like this one. I'm glad I tried it on because the collar is really wonky. It has places where it indents there and it's like wavy down here. It doesn't sit flat and even like this one did. So this one's gonna be returned. I really like the color though. Maybe I'll order another one and hope it's better. Also wanted to say I couldn't tell on the website whether this top was light gray or light blue. It is definitely gray, but it does have a blue tone to it. It comes off as gray more than blue. Next up, I have an interesting neutral. It's this metallic shirt. It seems to have a black undertone with a gunmetal silver metallic threads on it. The sleeves, what's the word? It's like an accordion fold. It's pretty, and it's a sweater. So this is a winter thing. I didn't realize this was a sweater. Also, it looks like it's going to be too small for me, too tight around the body, but let's see. All right, the fit on it is good. It is tight, but it's not too tight. It fits pretty well, and that's how it looks. The sleeves are nice and billowy. I'm going to send it back, though. It's a little tighter than I would like it to be. I mean, I think it looks Fine. It's just, I'd like it to be slightly looser. Also, as pretty as it is, I can tell that this fabric is already itchy. So it's not something I'd want to wear all day. It could be good for like a vlogmas video, not to actually wear in real life. So it's going back. I'm just trying to show off the sleeves here. Ooh, it's pretty though. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.